Notre Dame is an absolute train wreck and a disaster. They're losing to Cal at halftime. Well, there's four seconds to go till halftime. Notre Dame's getting ready to punt, to punt the ball away with four seconds to go. That'll be the last play at a half. Cal 10, Notre Dame 7 at halftime. This is unbelievable to watch. Notre Dame, uh, on this last drive of the second half, they had the ball. They got up close to midfield. They had like a, a third and nine or something like that. They had a play call, shotgun, five wide receivers. They were going to try to get the first down. There was a little over a minute to go. They were going to you know, try to get the first down and then maybe a few more yards to kick a field goal to tie it up to go into halftime. They line up third and nine after a timeout, come out, false start, backs it up, makes it third and 14. So they just said, screw it, ran the ball up the middle for a, a half a yard, and now they're punting it away. Halftime score, Cal 10, Notre Dame 7. Notre Dame might have the worst offense in the Power 5. I'm not kidding. How much would someone have to pay you? I, this is, I'm serious. I know most of the people who congregate around this channel are diehard college football fans who, given the opportunity, would watch almost any college football game. How much money would someone have to pay you to get you to watch Notre Dame play Iowa? What a snooze fest that would be. Final, final score, that game might be like 3-2. to two. I mean, that, that would be a brutal game to watch. Notre Dame is absolutely horrendous. Um, winless. Winless Notre Dame. They're 0-2. Marcus Freeman's 0-3 as a head coach. They lost the bowl game with Marcus Freeman last year. Come out, lose to Ohio State. But somehow it was a moral victory because they only lost by 11. My, uh, you're Notre Dame. If you're taking moral victories because you lost by 11. I said, okay, well, whatever. And then you come out the following week, last week, and just get embarrassed by Marshall. And it wasn't a fluke win like you see sometimes in these upsets. It wasn't a fluke win. Marshall is better. They, had, they were better coached. They were better prepared. They had a better game plan, a better scheme, a better philosophy. You name it, they had. Now, they didn't have better players, but for whatever reason, they won the game. They were the better team. And Notre Dame, I don't think, as bad as Notre Dame's offense has been so far this year, this is the worst I've seen it. It's not getting any better. I mean, we're three weeks into the season. Marcus Freeman had an entire month in December last year to prepare for the bowl game. He had an entire spring uh, a practice season, an entire off-season program, an entire summer camp, an entire fall practice, and now three weeks of the season, and he just continually pushes piles of poop out onto the field and calls it offense. I mean, he is spoon-feeding you diarrhea. This is absolutely horrible. This is absolutely horrible. Notre Dame fans have reduced themselves. This season is so far gone for Notre Dame. This is what Notre Dame fans have reduced themselves to. They don't even care if Notre Dame wins or loses anymore. They've, re they've reduced themselves to just rooting against Brian Kelly. That's all they can do because th they spent all off season, uh, season of subtract uh, addition by subtraction. This was great that we got rid of Brian Kelly. His he, he overstayed his welcome. Marcus Freeman is so much better. Marcus Freeman is coaching with the same roster that Brian Kelly had where he was averaging 10.5 wins a year for 12 years and taking you to New Year's Six games and playoffs and ACC championship games the one time you were actually in a conference. More on that in a second, by the way. Now you get this guy, Marcus Freeman. He literally cannot win a game. He cannot win one game. The Ohio State loss is excusable. The top five team, you had to play them there at their place week one. Fine. You can't excuse the Marshall loss. And, and, and with your backs against the wall after that humiliating display you put on against Marshall, this is the product you put on the field in week three against Cal? Seven points at halftime, but we got a backup quarterback. Good, because Tyler Buckner is terrible. That that was a blessing. That was a blessing. He's horrible. So I, Notre Dame, man, my God, they're, they're absolutely horrible. They're absolutely horrible. You know, it's gone from wondering – which conference is going to be lucky enough to get Notre Dame, right? Can the ACC talk Notre Dame into joining? Can the Big Ten talk Notre Dame into joining? That's out the window. Forget that. Pretty soon it's going to be Notre Dame begging any conference at all to take them. 